So this is Bruce Wayne in Batman Arkham City wearing what would become the Batman Beyond suit for Terry McGinnis later. I want you to look at this and I want you to understand that there is no way in hell that not everybody knows that Bruce Wayne is Batman in this universe. Look at this dude's arms. His forearm alone is like the width of Harley Quinn. This is him holding a grown man. I know how everybody says, and I think they even say in the comics that Bruce Wayne just wears like big suits, but these must be really big fucking suits. And even that he'd have to have a ton of added pads inside the suit to make it look like he's just built like a normal person. Like with how this dude is built, it would not sit right. Plus sometimes he'll hook up with women just to maintain the playboy aesthetic but you'd think the second he'd take off his shirt these women would be like oh cool so you're batman plus all the scars and bullet wounds that would be all over his body i know that people say that he doesn't actually hook up with women he just pays them to say that he did but they say in arkham knight that he released a shirtless beach catalog so i guess that doesn't really matter anyway the main argument against this is that people don't really see batman they just see a silhouette and that's probably why he wears dark colors so nobody can ever actually get a good look at him but you know who does get a consistent good look at him the GCPD, the same people who are supposed to be detectives. I kind of feel like the people who have a history of trying to arrest you are the last people you would want to know who you are. I think it's important to mention that in the Arkham games, the reason Batman's right arm is slightly bigger than his left arm is because in Arkham Asylum, it got injected with Titan formula. Wait, why did you think it was bigger? Ew, what the f- But this brings up a really interesting point. In the Arkham games, Batman is regularly subjected to psychedelic and physical form-changing drugs, and somehow he just willpowers through it. You know how every dude says they're built different? Bruce is literally built different. Like, I guess the argument can be made for Scarecrow's fear toxin because it's purely psychological, even though I think it's killed people, but Bruce just powers through. I'm not afraid, Crane. Also, Kevin Conroy's Batman voice is the coolest voice ever. Like, look at that. But this is the same drug that turned Joker from this to this in a matter of, like, 10 seconds. And Batman's still just kind of, like, fine. Like, how do you willpower that? How did you stop yourself from becoming a Titan without an antidote? Honestly, I just thought about it really hard. Batman is so menacing that even drugs are scared to mess with him. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye. I love you. Let me tell you all a story about shrimp fried rice.